Hi everyone, this is Marcus with DTF Station, and in this video, we will go over 10 different scenarios that you may face, what the causes may be, and how to fix the issues. Remember, the printer will always do its thing, the rest of the variables depend on how you apply the powder, how you cure the powder, and how you press the film. That's why it is so important to spend the time in the beginning to fine-tune all of your settings. Scenario 1. With all the right settings, including correct temperature, curing time, the right amount of powder, pressing time, and temperature, you should get a clean, vibrant print with good hand feel. Scenario 2. What happens when you put too much powder onto the film and you do not remove any of the excess powder when pressing on a white and black garment? When pressing this film onto a white garment, visually, you will probably not see much of a difference, but the hand feel would be pretty thick due to the excess amount of powder. When pressing this film onto a black garment, you will also have a thicker hand feel, but you'll also visibly see a white haze around the image. This white haze can be somewhat fixed by pressing the print longer since this would help more of the powder melt into the garment, but a good amount of it may not be removable. Even after a wash, which would remove a good amount of the haze, and especially on non-cotton garments, there may be irreversible marks around the edges of the print. In highly humid environments, the powder may be more difficult to remove from the film. In these situations, you can place the film under the phoenix of an air heat for just one second, which will help remove some of the moisture. Scenario 3. In Scenario 3, we will try pressing the film while using no powder. The results will be a film that does not transfer the actual print to the garment. This is because the powder has two roles. One, it melts under the garment threads and adheres the print to the garment. Two, it also helps the print's stretchability and improves washability. Scenario 4. Here we will apply an uneven layer of powder. This can also happen if bad powder is used. When either of these happens, parts of the prints may adhere to the garment but other parts may not. As you can see here, parts of the print are tearing off. It's important to get an even coverage of powder over the entire print. It is also very important to use good powder. Here are some recommendations. Once a bag of powder is opened, make sure to use all of it within a six month window. Once a bag of powder is opened, keep the powder in an airtight bag or container with desiccant to keep it dehumidified. Moisture will make the powder unusable. Dust and debris can also cause issues, causing inconsistent peeling. Lastly, keep the powder away from sunlight or heat. Once the powder melts to any degree, it becomes unusable. Scenario 5. In Scenario 5, we will heat press the film at a lower temperature of 268 degrees Fahrenheit or 131 degrees Celsius. While the lowest temperature we ever recommend pressing is around 300 degrees Fahrenheit on non-cotton garments, in general, we do recommend 320 degrees Fahrenheit, especially if you are trying to hot peel the film. When the temperature is not hot enough, and you go over to peel after pressing the film, parts of the print may have powder that was not fully melted, hence will pick up with the film and not adhere to the fabric. Prints may also peel off or shrink after the first wash. The transfers may stick to the top of the heat press when it releases since it's not sticking to the garment. If you still see these issues when you have your heat press set to 320 degrees Fahrenheit, use a temperature gun to check if your heat press is actually reaching the temperature that you have it set to. Some heat presses that are not as consistent will not actually reach the temperature that you have it set to or have different areas of the heating element that are not heating up evenly. Scenario 6. 
In scenario 6, we will test what happens when you heat press at too high of a temperature. For this example, we will set the heat press to 374 degrees Fahrenheit or 190 degrees Celsius. When your heat press is too hot, you may have trouble separating the film after the press. This is because the ink may have adhered to the garment, but now is sticking to the film. You may also evidence the ink boiling or where the print started to shrink. If your temperature is set at 320 degrees and you still see these issues, make sure to use the temperature gun again to check that the heating element is actually hitting the temperature that you have it set to. Scenario 7. Here we will cure the powder at a lower temperature than recommended. We normally recommend curing the powder at 248 degrees Fahrenheit or 120 degrees Celsius. In this test, we lower the temperature down to 195 degrees Fahrenheit or 90 degrees Celsius. Similar results can occur from not curing long enough. One indicator that the powder has not been cured enough is if the powdered side after curing does not have a shiny orange peel finish and instead has a grainy finish. One sign that your powder has not been cured enough is if you see parts of your print peeling. Washability will also be affected. After the first wash, your image may shrink or bubble up, and in many instances, the colored layer will wash off. If you see these issues when your settings are correct, make sure to use the temperature gun to make sure that what you're seeing on your setting screen matches the actual temperature at which the powder is curing. Another issue you may see are boiling issues. This has to do with excess moisture on the film. One remedy for this is heating up the film a second before the powder is added. Scenario 8. Here we will see what happens when you cure the powder at too high of a temperature. We normally recommend curing the powder at 248 degrees Fahrenheit or 120 degrees Celsius. In this test, we will set the temperature to 320 degrees Fahrenheit or 160 degrees Celsius. When this happens, you won't be able to peel the film after pressing hot or warm. It basically melts the powder so much that your only alternative is to cold peel. Even with the cold peel method, you may have some difficulties. You may also see boiling issues in the print, especially if you have large solid areas of color. Scenario 9. In this scenario, we will have all the settings at every step correct. But when we peel after the press, we will not wait 3 seconds, and we will peel quickly. First, you always want to give the film at least 3 seconds to cool down, even when using the hot peel method. Also, when you peel, you want to peel slowly in a rolling motion, where the film stays close to the surface of a garment instead of pulling away from it. When done incorrectly, small letters or corners may pull up or tear. Scenario 10. In this scenario, with all the settings correct at every step, you heat press the print immediately after curing the powder on the film. When pressed too quickly, you will have to wait longer than 3 seconds to perform a hot peel since the powder is still melting. When using the warm peel method, you may still encounter some resistance. You may also see some boiling or bubbling in the print, especially if you have large solid areas of color. To resolve these issues, we recommend giving the film at least 5 to 10 seconds after the powder curing step to allow the powder to cool down. Alright, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.